Hey, what's up? Sam here. So this is the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus with that 200 megapixel camera, and this is the Pro with 50 megapixel MX7 W6. All right. And this video is just about the camera comparison. And if you want to know the unboxing and the specs, you know, those kind of shit, go to my previous video. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get started. All right, let me walk you through the camera specs of the two really quickly. The Note 12 Pro Plus is the first Redmi phone with a 200 megapixel camera utilizing Samsung's ISOCELL HPX sensor. Theoretically, big sensor, more capabilities. The sensor allows you to record 8K 30fps and 4K 120fps. Sadly, the Dimensity 1080 chipset on the Pro Plus has kept its performance to 4K 30fps video recording only. How absurd is that, right? The end of the benchmark for the Dimensity 1080 is around 400K. What do you expect from it anyway? The Redmi Note 12 Pro gets a 50 megapixel main camera with Sony MX7W6 sensor. This is an excellent user verified sensor that we've seen on many flagship phones like the Oppo Find X3, X5 Pro, etc. The remaining two sensors on both phones are an 8 megapixel ultrawide and a 2 megapixel depth helper. But for the selfie, both sports a 60 megapixel camera with an up to 1080p 60fps resolution. So, first, let's check out the rear camera. As we can see, both phones support up to 10 times digital zoom. Here are the samples. Let me know which is better. How can we miss that 200 megapixel photo? You click more in the camera, then find Ultra HD, and clicking, you will see that 200 megapixel option. In case you want to know how large is that 200 megapixel photo, here you go. Each is around 20 megabytes, compared with the 50 megapixel on the Pro version. Each file is around 7 megabytes. Huge difference. Once I compared these files in my editing tool, it's just not what I expected. Here is the original size, 1.5 times zoom is usable, 2 times okay, 3 times starts to look grainy, at least on a computer, but maybe better on a phone. And also I found seems on the Pro Plus, check this part, it got overexposed than the Pro. I also tried 4 times. Here put it this way, if we zoom by the same amount like 4 or 5 or even, six times what can be seen clearly on the Pro Plus, it can be seen on the Pro. What cannot be seen clearly on the Pro, it will be the same for the Pro Plus. Namely, you cannot see clearly either. And sometimes I even find the Pro version has better performance when we zoom in. So at the end of the day, that 200 megapixel camera is just hoax. But considering the phones we were testing with the demo machines, not sure if it will get better for the official units. Here are some video samples by the rear camera. I tested 4K 30fps. I tried to find if they have stabilization in the settings, but couldn't find. And judging from the video performance, I assume they don't have. some selfies and selfie videos. Alright now 
1080p 60 fps in this landscape mode, horizontal mode. Okay. Ooh. Let's check if it's good. Actually, both selfie cameras should be the same, so the performance should be the same. No need to worry this and that. All right. The biggest difference is the rear camera. This is the front camera from the Pro and Pro Plus. Both at 1080p 60 fps. Alright, so let me know if it's good. I'm hand holding it. This is the Pro, and this is the Pro Plus. And yeah, let me know if the sound sounds okay or not. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it, the, the sound is okay because right now, since many people just use their phones, you know, um, to live on YouTube or Facebook, okay? So the sound is actually very important and now I'm in a really noisy shopping mall. So if this here is clear, then all good, right? Okay. All right, that's the camera test. So you guys tell me which one is better and do you think that 200 megapixels is just a hoax or gimmick or something? And yeah, just leave a comment below. And yeah, a person thinking, you know, uh, a good camera, it's not necessarily has the largest sensor or something. It also has to do with other software, tuning, color, tuning, those kind of things. What do you think? Like that Xiaomi 12T Pro, the camera is really shitty, right? Anyway, uh, that's the video. I hope you like it and please subscribe if you haven't. And if you want me to do that uh, Note 12 Pro Discovery or Explorer Edition, please let me know in the comments, all right? Subscri subscribe if you haven't. Bye-bye.